see the rain. They don't wanna see What is going on guys? Welcome back to another trip to the thrift haul. If you guys didn't check out my last video, make sure you go check it out. I did a review slash on feet with these Vichetta tan highs or veggie tan highs that vans like to call it. So make sure you guys check it out. So today was, I was running errands, I was doing a lot of things, running around town. I had to get shipping supplies. Sorry for everyone that's waiting on an order. Um, I think there's only a few of you. I ran out of shipping labels, guys, and I had no shipping labels. I had to go to like four different stores to find the right kind because the shipping labels I use are like two pages and all I had was one page. So again, I'm sorry you will get your packages as soon as possible. Tomorrow morning I'm shipping on everything. So. I figured why not while I'm running errands I might as well stop at some thrift stores as well as some consignment shops. I totally forgot my camera though not thinking that I was gonna find something but of course you know your boy did. So let's jump right into it. This I'm probably gonna throw up on eBay um, unless if you guys want to throw it. By the way I've been selling some things on eBay and for everyone that sells vintage clothes or like even is interested in buying eBay has some dope finds and like it's really easy to sell. You could put stuff at almost resale price and figure there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that are watching eBay or looking up the things. So things sell, especially stuff with brand new with tags, go for eBay if anyone's like a vintage or reseller or whatever. So this is a True Religion denim jacket. So far, I really wish this was my size, but it is brand new with tags. This is a size 3XL. But to be honest, I tried it on personally just to see how big it is. And I could say it could probably fit a 2XL. Um, again, I will throw this up on my website, but I am tossing this on eBay just because it's an eBay, it's an eBay like item, 100%. But you could see you have the horseshoes in the front pockets, brand new with tags with like this denim washed. You have the stitching all throughout. On the back, we have a little wear and tear with the stripes and then on the bottom we have true religion honestly i was like going through instagram and i saw a baby milo or baby milo however you pronounce it i'm sorry i i don't know the correct term um and i was like damn i i feel like i'm gonna find one of those in the thrift as you know i found one i believe this is from 2006 and the reason why i think it's from 2006 it says uh baby milo or baby milo again i'm not sure Safari by Bathe and Ape, uh, Babe Collab, All Rights Reserved, 1993 slash 2006. So I believe 1993 is when Bape first um, opened up their company or just started their company. Uh, again, don't don't kill me in the comments if I'm absolutely wrong. I didn't Google this. This is just going off of previous knowledge that I do know. Um, but it is an old tag, as you guys can see. Baby Milo or Milo, a bathing ape, and then down here. So this is a 100% authentic shirt. On the sleeve we have the monkey. That will focus. And this is a size 3XL as well. I don't know why the two like fireest items we find is 3XL today, but looking at it, I mean, maybe it could fit a 2XL. I might throw this on eBay as well or just my Instagram. Everything is going to be posted on my Instagram below. But as you guys can see on the back, a bathing ape. So this is a pretty fire find. If you guys couldn't see the graphic, I'll show you guys again. Again, a 3XL, maybe it could fit 2XL. I'm not too sure about the bigger sizes this piece i almost passed up and if it was a large i would probably keep it it's a vintage tommy hill figure jeans in this cheetah print button down like it kind of at first i thought it was flowers but it's a hundred hundred percent cheetah print it has tommy stitched in on the left hit and all cheetah print this is a size medium guys this is so fire. I wish this fit me. As large, we got this Chelsea soccer jersey. Now, this isn't a certified copy. Like, this is a bootleg, I guess you want to call it. There's no stitching. There's no embroidery. It's straight screen print. But I felt like it's fire. I mean, I'm probably going to put it for cheap anyways. You know, 13 15 bucks, something like that. Uh, Chelsea football. 
or soccer, same thing I guess. I have no idea who this person is. I'm not gonna act like I do know. Team Chelsea, Team Chelsea. And we got Chelsea right there. This piece is fire. I haven't found a Kooji shirt like this. I usually find t-shirts, collared shirts, uh, or jackets. I never found like a button down. So this is Kooji Australia with the Australia flag. Shout out to Australia. Then we got embroidered right here. We have the CG Australia Kooji Expedition. On the front we have Hella Pockets. Almost like a fishing shirt. And this is a size large. Super fire. So if you guys have been watching my vlogs, you probably know the episode where I talked about Jose Fernandez, the Marlins baseball player pitcher that passed away in a boating accident in Miami. I actually came across two of these, which I'm actually pretty surprised. They're almost look brand new. So we have Jose Fernandez, number 16. Rookie of the Year from 2013. This is a size large, and the other one is a size large as well. So I have two of these. Um, I might keep one for me just for memorabilia, uh, just because, again, he did pass away, so they're not going to be printing any more of these shirts, especially because it's the 2013 Rookie of the Year. Uh, the screen printing is flawless. It looks like they were printed yesterday. It looks like they haven't been worn. So I have two of these. Again, jerseys sell so fast. And a few people have asked about Adidas jerseys, but I never actually came up across one. This is a size medium. You got the red and white. You got the three stripes going down the collared. Adidas stitched in right there. Little fire jersey. Got the white hits on the sleeve. I might end up keeping this size large. We got the hundreds. And like this summer themed. For the last piece, I actually found one of these before and I still have it actually. It's a 2XL. Um, it's actually right here. So if you guys remember it in a past episode, I found this vintage Tommy jeans uh, sweatshirt in the navy and white. Unfortunately, this is a 2XL, so a lot of people were upset about that. But today is your day. I have the same Tommy Hilfiger jean sweater. This is a size large though. In the navy and white, same exact thing. We got Tommy jeans on the back. So whoever's a large, get this before I ended up keeping this because this is fire. It's just simple. It's nice. It has the white fleece material with the navy, the TH patch. So fire. And unfortunately, that wraps up today's haul. Again, today wasn't even supposed to be meant to go thrifting. I just happened to be in the area, stopped, and found some gold mines. So these will be on the website as soon as you guys see this video. Uh, some things I might be posting on eBay. I will pull my eBay link in the description below just in case if you guys want to check it out. Also, uh, uh, like two people or two or three people have sent me an email about their clothes, about it wasn't looked like what the picture, like it might have been faded or there might have been a pen mark that I might have overlooked or whatever the case may be. And I just wanna say right at the back, I'm 100% sorry. I tried to price and I tried to put the condition as best of my knowledge. As you guys see, I get about 10, 15 items a day. And on my website, I have about 300 plus items. So it's really hard to get every single pen mark or whatever it is, but I'm gonna be really on top of it. Uh, I'm gonna start changing a couple of past posts um, if something's faded or if something doesn't fit right or if it's missing a button I'm gonna include that um, before I wouldn't include that I would just put like 8 out of 10 7 out of 10 and that doesn't really justify what it is because an 8 out of 10 could be perfect for me but for someone else they they could think it's a 5 out of 10 so I'm gonna start wording things a little bit differently so I'm sorry for those people again um, I will find a way to make it up for you like don't think that I'm like trying to pull the fast one on you. As you guys, you guys see, I find everything used. You see, I like what I do with it. I bring it home. I take pictures and I upload it. I don't, I don't mess with that at all. I like to find it or I like to leave it. That's like one of my goals is to leave the vintage as it is. So it's like you guys finding it, but you don't have to go through the goodwill digging for five hours like I do, or go through the bins digging through seven hours of filth and muddy clothes. You find just one piece. So it's like that's why I feel like. 
it's dope to find vintage and sell it as vintage. Otherwise, honestly, I could clean a lot of things and probably charge three times the price because it doesn't have a stain, but again, it doesn't have that vintage feel to it. Uh, that's just my opinion, but again, I'm sorry for those people. I'm going to start being on top of it. I'm going to start expecting it a lot harder instead of doing just a one-two look. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you're new, thank you very much for subscribing or watching this video. Um, my name is EMC or Emilio. I go thrifting every single day. I post videos every single day. Um, so far, we're on like two months. So we have two months of videos. Check them out. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you press the little bell so you get a notification, notification squad. Make sure you're following my Instagram because I always post the new stuff or new inventory on my Instagram before this video airs so they get like first dibs. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog and don't forget guys, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it guys.